welcome to Hydro Cleanse. What I'm going to be showing you today is the easy installation guide for the hot and cold water water belay system, which is the RD201. Okay, first of all, what we need to do is just check we have all the contents. So inside, what we should have is one belay system. Just set out the packaging. Just check the control panels. So we've got the nozzle clean and the pressure wash and the water mix. Just make sure the nozzle clean is moving. Now the back, we have a hot water valve and one cold water valve. So we'll just pull that to the side. And this time we should have a contents of pack. We have three meters of tubing, more than enough, and two 15 mil diverter valves. These are the T valves. Right. The tools that we require is one Stanley knife or any sharp knife, that's just to really cut the tubes. Adjustable spanner and a screwdriver to switch the water supply off. And what would be handy is some PTF tape, or no, also known as plumber's tape. So I'm just going to go through a step-by-step -step guide on how we're going to be installing this B-Day system. So first of all, what we need to do is remove the toilet seat. So if we just uh, screw the screws from the bottom, and just go to the other side, just remove that. That's fine, so we just remove the toilet seat there. And just move that away. If we just put this to the side, what we need to do is now get the B-Day system here. We just need to line it up so it's in the perfect position. So if we just adjust these, these will lock into place as well. So just need to just move that, move that slightly here. Just need to make sure there's plenty of space for us to move the spray nozzle. So that's plenty of space there. Okay, what we need to do now is just pull that in place. All we do is place the toilet seat on top of that. Just make sure we get the position right. That's it, simple as that. So we've got the toilet seat fixed. That's fine, that is. And what we need to do now is just tighten it up. Just going to tighten it up there. Just make sure it's nice and level as well because we don't want to be. Straight, tighten up from below. Can be sometimes a bit awkward to get around. Step one done. What we now need to do is switch the water supply off. So I'll just turn this off. That's water supply off. That's from the toilet tank. So this is going to be our cold water supply. So if we just get our adjustable spanner, just adjust it, and we can unscrew that. Can be a bit difficult sometimes with it. Slightly tight space, but just work slowly. And that's just loose, so we can just remove that around. That's done there. And what we need to do is get the first diverter on. I would recommend just putting some PTF tape on this. Just creates an extra, extra seal and also protects the threads. So we'll just give that a few wraps there. So 
So just to remind you again, it's the cold water supply. So what we need to do is just screw that on top where the intake pipe is for the toilet tank. Just tighten that up. Just remember not to over tighten because you can actually cross the thread and that can damage the thread there. So that's nice and tight. What we need to do now is attach the flexi hose to the male side of the diverter bar. We just initially just hand tighten it. Now we can just get our spanner and just tighten that up. the washer it's best just to hold it with one hand steady so just like putting any like, tea bowl okay that's step two or one what we now need to do is find out where the hot water supply is so we just turn this off You can see from here what I'm going to do. I'm just going to just remove the, uh, the hot water bar. So what we do now is actually putting the diverter valve in between. I'm just going to put some PTF tape at the end of the, the male side of this. Just give that a few wraps. Break that off. So we always connect the female side first. Just tighten that up. Now what we need to do is just connect the other side to it. Just try to get that in place. Just tend to use the hand initially and then we can always move on just so we can get the thread right and just tighten up with this finger. Just tighten it all the way down so it's nicely sealed off. Right, that's the step one our step done. So we've connected the diverter bulbs now. So final step of this is what we need to do is connect this tubing between the diverter valves and onto the bead out. So we can just measure this out so we know exactly roughly the length of pipe we need. So for the toilet tank we need roughly about this pipe size. So Always just be careful with your hands. I'm just going to cut this on the floor, so and it's always best to cut cut it on a fine line so it's nice and straight because we don't want any jagged edges. So we've got our first belt tubing. So all we do with this one is we remove the the knot from the diver to bar, push that through the tubing, and just Push down, making sure the lip reaches the end. What we do is just tighten that up. And now, we're just going to connect this to the cold water supply. So, when you get, if, as you remembered at the start, we had two knots at the back. So, what I'm doing is putting the knot through, and we're just going to push it through, exactly the same as the diverter valve side, and just tighten that up. Okay, now we've got our other step, because we've got quite a bit of pipe, and especially with this setup, it's quite close, so we don't really need too much pipe. So we can just measure 
the rough amount of pipe. So we just really need about that much pipe really to be honest. Otherwise if we've got too much pipe it's just going to be hanging off the side and it's going to look unattractive. So we just got that. Look at it, it's a nice little fine edge. Just cut there. So if we just so all we do is push this through and what we'll do is just push it all the way down until this is just touching on the edge. So it must be fully locked down because of what that does, it creates a vacuum lock on it. So, so it's watertight, just tighten that all the way down. So that's the end is done. So that's what it is. Quite simple steps there. And what we now need to do is just feed this pipe through. It's quite flexible as well, so you can push it through most nooks and crannies. Now, we're just going to connect this to the hot water supply. So just take the nut out of that. Put it through. And push the pipe all the way down. that a bit more down just to give it a hundred percent water seal there right that's tightened up so that's uh, all done at the moment so our next step is is we're going to switch the water supply on. So first of all I'm going to switch on the cold water supply and just make sure everything's on the off position here. And just to make I'm just going to check for some of the water's actually diverted to the toilet tank as well. So I'm just checking for any leaks or that's absolutely fine. Now we just need to switch on the hot water supply. Uh, just check for any leaks or any issues there. So that's absolutely fine as well. So there's no leaks. Just you can check it with a dry piece of paper. Just bring your hand down it. Just to make sure it's fine. Now just going to set the water. And then just switch that off. That's that's just the nozzle cleaner. If you look at the control panel here. We've got two bits here. So if this ever gets dirty, so if you turn to the left, that does a nozzle thing. It's quite useful if this part of the bidet gets dirty or can even use it as a toilet wash. Now, what we're going to do is now I'm just going to test the wash system. I'm just going to put my hand here just to protect everything so the water doesn't spill out anywhere. So you can just see the, the jet of water coming out. And of course, back up. And this is the nozzle, so we can adjust the angle here with the angle adjuster. If we just move with that up and down, so we can actually change the direction of the water flow there. And that's absolutely fantastic. We can actually mix the water as well for the hot and cold. And now we've got some warm water. It's quite warm, that is. It's comfortable. Best to adjust it slowly because the last thing that you want to do is actually you know, have access to hot water in your body. And just turn that to the off position. And that's it. Our easy installation guide of the RD201 Hydrocanth Fitted. So, for further information, you can visit our website which is www.hydro-cleanse.com. .co.uk and thank you for watching